Hello there and welcome to the next video on the calculation types within the Google Data Studio. And in this video, I will show you the comparison calculations. So comparison calculation, as you might have seen in the previous video, is present uh, just above the running calculation. So if I go into the edit mode, into this calculation, what you see is the running calculation over here. So running average, uh, what we have done earlier, but if we want a comparison calculation, we can take a comparison calculation based on whether we want percent of total, percent difference from total, percent difference from total, percent of max, difference from max, and percent difference from max. So these are all the pre-calculated values that has been given to us. So what I'll do is I'll start from the scratch that let's say we don't have anything. We just have a very simple table, which is customer and profit. Now let's add metric, which is profit and I'll go into this edit mode of the calculation and in the comparison calculation what I need is the percent of total. Now over here relative to correspond data and relative to base data is going to act in the same way because these two options are for those calculation which is time dependent. All right so I can choose any of the option I will just choose relative to the corresponding data. So over here, if you see, you get the uh, percent of total. So if I'm not wrong, what we choose is the percent of total. All right. So the first value has 39.5%. The second value is 20.95 contribution into the total. The third value is 20.6 and 18.96. Similarly, as you might have expected, uh, you can do you know the difference from total so what we will do is uh, suppose this is the percent of total now let's one more metric metric again profit and i'll go into the edit mode and this time along with the percent of total i also want difference from total so i can choose difference from total and as you can see it's available over here so now if i just go out so this is the difference from total that we have for the values so you can try with the rest of the values as per your needs whether you want percent difference from total if i choose that the value will be changed accordingly earlier it was actual value now it is in the percentage terms so you have uh, based on the option that you will going to choose like percent of max different from max or percent difference from max it will going to work accordingly now you may have a situation where you need a different type of calculation. Well, in that case, you need to create a custom field or a custom calculation. So if I just go out and you have the option of coming over here, add a field there, you can add a custom calculation for the purpose of a custom needs if it is not present over here. Now let me show you the option which was uh, related to or uh, relative to the corresponding data or relative to, to, to the base data. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just remove this table by pressing the delete key and I'll come into the add chart and I will add a time series chart over here. And as I put my chart over here, by default, the dimension date range, range dimension is order date. The dimension, the actual dimension, which you are seeing over here is the actual date. Um, then metric is profit. What I want to do is uh, I want to, uh, let's say, define the custom range. So custom is present over here. Now, along with the custom, I need to specify date range. So what I need is the, let's say, the end, the December 2012 data because my data is starting or ending in the December. So I want from 1st of December to um, 2012 and then December 31st of December so from 1st December 2012 to 31st December 2012 I need it so I'll click apply so now my custom range is defined so if I just expand this little bit to get a better uh, understanding of this chart so this is how the uh, profit looks like for my December period in 2012 now the comparison period over here is basically the uh, previous period that means it will start from it should start from 1st of november to go up till 30th november that's my previous period so if i click over there 
you will see the previous period value now if i come back over here in the profit calculation i have the option of uh, having the percent of total relative to the corresponding data or the base data so what is corresponding data corresponding data means uh, the comparison calculation which is present over here or the and the base data is basically the base data that means the actual period which is the december period so if i click on relative to the base data what you will see is uh, if i go into the edit mode over here so now you see uh, the percent based on to the base data so base data the maximum calculation is over uh, let me figure it out very quickly so yeah as you can see the overall percentage that you will going to get over here is based on the relative to the total of base data that means the december 2012 data now let me show you a different option which is related to the max so over here this the lighted shaded brown line is basically our previous period so i will do a one calculation related to that so i am again going into the profit and percent to total instead of that what i need is let's say percent of max relative to the corresponding data so if i just click it over here you will see that a visualization has changed and now we have percentages so if i go into the view mode and uh, come over here you will see the uh, over here in november just focus on the november 19 2012 the the percentage is 100% that means it is taking this corresponding data as 100% and then showing you corresponding to that the December 19 you have just 3.51% so and if I change that to a base data instead of corresponding then this value which is over here will come 100% so right now what it is is basically profit as the 100% since it is the maximum value since it is matching that that's why it is coming as 100% and the relative is coming just minus 1.9% similarly over here you can do all the comparison that is needed for your purpose of corresponding or the relative data uh, by using the comparison calculations over here so yeah it's little tricky uh, as you can see and you need to focus a little bit in terms of uh, communicating the clear results so if uh, i will choose i will just suggest you that if your user is aware enough and used to of consuming such numbers then only you show this visualization because this will take some time in terms of how this calculation is really working what is going on all behind the scenes and uh, those who are used to of it will be able to get it but those who are the first time users of the output of such calculation will have some difficulty so just a word of caution that when you would really need to utilize this calculation so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic